Hey guys, and welcome back to Skyward Sword. Today we're gonna go fight. Hopefully, we get to fight Gearheim today. Or we can be blocked off like every time a temple comes in and we get in the way. <laughs> I don't know. I was dicking around with beacons a minute ago. I want to see if I can get one on them. Or close enough to them to make it look like that. It worked! Alright, come on. Oh, that's not it, huh? How about now? Really? At least I got that heart. <sighs> Close call. I'm pissed. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I don't know, I felt like that was necessary. How long is your whole existence? Um, the fuck? Magic, whatever. Ooh. I'm pissed still. I'm taking a dump. What, are you gonna become more like greed now? Oh no, he made a platform out of diamonds. Squares. Oh no! That is a platform. I've got a sword. <sighs> Great, it's covered in carbon diamonds. That's terrific. <laughs> yeah, Gearheim was totally taken from Greed, huh? But his hair changed, it looks like. Didn't I beat you each of those times, too? <sighs> yeah, weapon's pretty close. So you have more personality than my weapon. <laughs> I'm ripping off Full Metal Alchemist. Thank you for telling me how to defeat you. <sighs> that's that's terrific. Alright, that beacon's now gonna get on my nerve for the word it is. Yeah, like I said, thank you for telling me how to get you how to finish you off. Or continue. To how to fight you? That's what I was looking for. It'll get a little bit more complicated than this. Bam! 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 <laughs> Flick! Soul Calibre Link makes his appearance in Skyward Sword. <laughs> Cannot change how close I want to get you. Really? He was standing on the edge. It's hammer time! What number is that? Five? Three? Four? How many times have I beaten this guy?
My insides are glowing. Oh, so now you want to switch to sword play again, huh? Come on, biscuit. Hit, ha, hit. And now he has a Skyward Strike, too. Time for some volley, huh? It's actually better to two use that against him. It's quicker that way. I play it safe by defending most of the time. But that's actually quicker. I hate when it does that, when I'm not telling it to. There we go. <sighs> you big bag of dick. Um, better. <laughs> he has character development sometimes. See, I thought it required a steady hand. His hands weren't steady at all during that. He wasn't focusing on that, he was focusing on Link. This doesn't even make any sense. Magic. I don't know. Yeah, that shows so badass in these cutscenes. It just looks badass. Oh no. You're not gonna make me fight him again, are you? Where's the rest of him? Where are his arms? Where's his tail? That's what we fought last. See, I'm not worried about the little halo thing because he flew with that, but it went away. But where are his arms and where is his tail? Did they just disappear? That's a lot of teeth. Rasengan! a lot of effects in here that remind me of the Rasengan. Lots of them. As if you're going to be around. <laughs> Spoiler! <laughs> so, he went Super Saiyan. Now he's going Super Saiyan. There it is. So he went from being a giant, uh, I don't even know what to call him. He went from being the imprisoned, a giant form, and then he went into a more humanoid form with blowing hair. What level of Super Saiyan is that? <laughs> I mean, technically he is covered in scales still. His, his chest is kind of out. Does that make this like Super Saiyan 4 imprisoned or something? I don't know. I'm just comparing them. See what I mean? And it's longer hair, so. I implanted this into you. I think he likes it. So, the way this looks, it's more like Girahim wasn't the sword, but like the sword was sealed in him, like it was stuck inside of him instead of the other way around. And now it's the other way around. Now Girahim is the sword. <laughs> what?
I don't know. Or maybe he just found a way to stay out of the sword longer. Nope. You, you, that's not me. That's somebody else. How is she still floating there? Haha, <laughs> imprisoned. This bag of flesh. I think Demise had a crush on her. I will give you the world. The whole world. And if I can't have you, nobody will. I don't know. That's what I see here. It kind of seems like Demise liked her better the other way. Maybe he maybe he was rejected and decided he wanted to take over the world. Who knows? That's not too far out of the question, is it? Your soul is mine. We're not done yet. That's what we humans do, isn't it? Either that or we kill each other. I mean, you are pretty ugly. Some big ass ears, too. No, I don't think it's that. I think you just pissed him off. <laughs> Kick his ass! Wad, you mean like that stuff you put in your hair? <laughs> he's got this. He's got the most awkward boner right now. The one on his head, that is. What is up with his hair, anyway? Is he a shark? I have the power! I'm going to use dark powers to make bubbles. <laughs> what? Okay, okay, okay. I'll get to this in a second. As soon as, you know, he's done talking. See, at least he's nice. He's not in a rush. He's intrigued, I guess. Alright, is he done talking now? You just want to hold her longer. <laughs> That's all it is. He just wants to hold her more. Okay, big black pit. Sword that seals. Why can't I just stab it into the ground now? He won't ever be able to get back out. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I... I'm gonna go up here and see if they have anything to say before I go in there. But yeah, there's speculation on that. On what I just said, actually. About, uh how you have to go back in time and all that stuff. But I don't want to get into that right yet. But yeah, I just... I want to know why we can't stab it into the ground now. Stab it into the ground now, portal sealed. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere. I mean, I guess if he was able to get out of that with her soul, he might be able to overpower it, maybe? But... It's... The sword has the power to repel evil. And then most, people, most uh, stuff in here use it in Zelda, use it like a seal. A seal. A seal. So. I don't know. I'll, I'll get into that after we're done, pretty much. I don't want to spoil too many things. 
Oh, wait, I'm here to talk to people. Hey, talk to me. Talk to me! Wait, what? Oh! That's right! Because we... We're the past! <laughs> Duh! She would have hit the ground. But it wouldn't have mattered. It would have happened again anyway, and you probably could have caught her that time. But still, I completely forgot about that. And now I'm curious. Let's see what the old lady has to say. But, like she just said, that uh, Zelda was still in the back of the temple. This means... what exactly? That we're stuck in a time paradox in a way? No! I have no other word for you. Know now that you are the sole hope of the final of this land. Why didn't she make a couple of swords? You know? Would it made more sense. What if the one hero fails and then the sword is gone? But it's not here because this is the Zelda we took. But she's still there in the past. Because it ha she sealed herself in the past. But we're going to call this an episode and Link and I are going to take a seat here. And stare at this beautiful tree. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next episode, we'll finish up and I'll talk about some other things. So, thanks for watching. Somebody go talk. Thanks for watching and enjoy the, the show. <laughs>